Hey guys, welcome back. So jumping right into the video, I'm gonna start with my Marc Jacobs. I think this is like the invisible primer or something like that. It always does this to me. I don't know why, if it's just mine, but it's been doing it lately. It's like the cap gets stuck in the top. I don't know what's going on, but it's kind of frustrating. But anyways, I still like the primer as like a moisturizing primer. So I'm just going to pop that on the face. And then we're gonna do a little bit of lip mask and a little bit of the Make It Forever skin equalizer, the smoothing one. I didn't forget it this time. <laughs> So I just wanted to quickly cut into the video to let you guys know a little update on the Best Damn Lip Mask. Well, a lot of you have been emailing me, you have been tweeting me, you've been leaving comments on my Instagram that you haven't gotten a confirmation yet for your lip mask. And that's because we were a little back ordered on our lip mask because way more of you guys order them than we expect it, which I love you guys for. And we use really high quality, unique ingredients and we don't want to downgrade our ingredients just to get the product out faster. But I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know if you haven't received a confirmation that you will be receiving one by this Friday, which is the 27th, and then all products will be shipping out on uh, the following Friday, which is December 4th. And then after that, we should have no more issues with these being back ordered because we made sure to double up on these so that you guys won't have to wait any longer. So I'm sorry if you guys are waiting. Please be patient. They are coming the 4th. They will all be shipping out, so everybody will have them by then. And also, I want to let you guys know for Black Friday, Best Damn Beauty is having a buy one, get one free. Everything is buy one, get one free, except for the lip mash, just because people are waiting on on these and people that ordered them a month ago we don't want you guys to be like well what the f I just ordered one of these and now people are getting ones for free so they're all excluded because this is actually our number one selling product so everything else is buy one get one free for Black Friday I will have the link in the bottom bar and we do still have our gift sets for the holidays coming up if you guys are interested in those so all the links will be down below again confirmations going out this Friday if you ordered a lip mask and then everything shipping out on the fourth okay now back to the video See, 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 I told you, I didn't forget this time. I've got my eye on you, make it forever. So we're just going to put on our primer and then we are going to move on to foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna to use the Cogendo Aqua Foundation in the color 123 because I'm a little light right now and this is my lightest color that I have. I'm gonna throw it on with a foundation brush and then I'm gonna blend it all out with this Artiste brush that I used in my last video. This is the Oval 8 brush. I'm just so obsessed with it. It gets your makeup on super duper fast, but I still will be using my beauty blender and stuff for like underneath my eyes. I don't I don't really love the brush underneath the eye, but for the face, for putting on your foundation, bomb. For shadow, I'm gonna start with this Kat Von D Metal Crush eyeshadow in the color Raw Power. And I'm using a 242 brush, which is a small uh, shader brush from MAC, which is really great to pack color on with. So I'm just gonna pack on the color and then blend it out. This is like a Sigma tapered blending brush, I think. And I'm just going to repeat these steps. So I'm gonna pack on color and blend color out, pack on color and blend color out. So to brighten the inner corner, I'm gonna use another one of these Kat Von D shadows, but it's just smashed and all over the place, so I can't even pick it up because I'm probably gonna throw it away after this because it's just so messy, but it's in the color Thunderstruck. I love the color. Maybe I can try to work some magic and get it like back together, but it's really all over the place. So I'm just going to pack that on and then pack on some more of the raw power and blend it all together. I wanted that burgundy color to really pop, so I'm gonna grab this Love Stick stack from Mel Cosmetics and actually use the color Love Stick, which is just really intense burgundy red. I love it so much, it's super intense, so I'm going to pack that on the outer corner and basically just do the same thing. I'm gonna pack color on and then blend color out. I really do think it's the best liner ever. It's the matte liquid liner from NYX. So you can skip to wing liner, but I'm gonna throw on a pretty heavy thick lash and I think it just needs it to balance it out. So I'm gonna use these from Coco Lashes. These are the Goddess Lash. I love these so much as well. I just like that they're like pointed and just rawr in your face. Yeah, girl, get it. Taking Love Sick again, I'm just going to pack on more color because I feel like you can intensify your eye a lot easier once you have your lashes and wing on. Like you can see where everything goes, like the placement is easier. Well, for me it is. Okay. 
To conceal, I'm gonna use the Naked Skin from Urban Decay. I've never tried this before and I was actually super happy with it. It blended out really easy and I like the coverage that it gave. I like a more liquidy concealer, if that makes sense. So this is in the color Light Neutral and I'm just going to use one of these little stippling brushes to blend everything out. It really just does the work for you. To set everything under there, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I love, love, love this. I feel like this is really the only thing that prevents me from looking cakey underneath my eyes, and it doesn't really crease. Like, it doesn't get stuck in the fine lines. I just think it's like the most perfect powder ever. To set the whole face, I'm gonna use a little bit of Studio Fix Powder. I think this is an NW25. And then to bronze up the face, I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan Tropical Nights Cool Bronzer. I like, love this stuff. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not like shimmery. It's just beautiful I love it for blush I'm going to go ahead and go in with a little bit of Mac oh we're not even on blush yet we're still bronzing girl finish that bronze up finish it up so we can move on thank you okay for blush I'm gonna use the color breath of plum from Mac and just put this on the apple this is the cheek really lightly and then blend it all out with a stippling brush Woo, that was a lot And to highlight, because I can't skip it even if it is like winter, I'm going to use this matte radiant baked powder highlight from Laura Mercier. It's in the color highlight one. And I was pleasantly surprised. Like it gave off such like a beautiful highlight, even though it was like a matte highlight, which how can it be a matte highlight? I don't know, but I just loved it so, so, so much. So I'm going to highlight the highest points of my cheeks, the tip of my nose, a little on my cupid's bow. And, you know, just just wherever you want to highlight your face, highlight it. Taking Love Stick one more time in my most favorite brush ever. This is the Morphe 504 brush. I'm just going to put that underneath the eyes and blend it out. And I'm also going to add a little bit of, yeah, I don't know why I do it to myself, but it needs it, it needs it, it needs it to balance it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Raw Power from Kat Von D as well, just to add a little bit of sheen and shimmer down to the lower lash line. And I take Thunderstruck and add it to the inner corners and then blend it all out so it's like nice and smoky and, you know, lush down there. Excuse me while I butt into your video one more time. But I was just downstairs getting ready to edit the footage and I realized the clips of me putting on my lipstick were gone and it's like, what's the point of having a makeup tutorial if there are no lip clips? So I decided to just jump back into the video and let you guys know what I did for my lip. The hair is gone and the bun is in full effect as always. So for the lips, I use this uh, House of Dolls lip liner in the color Lay Rose and I'm just going to line my lips and then fill my lips in completely. Don't you guys just love how I just took over this voiceover? like this I'm gonna kick it up a notch and I'm gonna add a little bit of this Mac well I'm not gonna add a little bit I'm just gonna go completely over the lips with this lipstick from Mac in the color cream cup and voila this was the lip that I wore and the camera did not want to record for me so now back to our regularly scheduled program so after the lip, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.